Alright. I want everybody to make some noise for Snagapurs! I told my son, I said, I'm going to take you to the church. I'm going to sit in the parking lot. 
And you go in there and get you some candy, you come on out. My son was like, all right, daddy. Soon we pulled up. I'm like, go on and get out. My son didn't even open the goddamn door. He jumped straight out the window. Ah, pew, he was gone. So I'm sitting in the car. I'm listening to some Fetty Wap. I'm smoking on a blunt. Less than two minutes, goddamn deacon ladies of the church house came outside. One lady had my son upside down by his ankle, butt naked. And the other lady had his goddamn costume in his hand talking about, who kid is this? Who kid is this? Oh, hell no. I jumped out the goddamn truck. I'm like, man, what the fuck is going on? She gonna holler, oh, wait, you didn't say no, you can't send your kid in here like this. They got mad at me because I sucked my son in the church house in a little red devil suit. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I don't goddamn win. Well, you ain't worried about that little devil. You need to worry about the other devils that's in that motherfucker. Like, am I the only one? Real talk. I met this beautiful girl, man. I was down in um, goddamn Cancun. We was on the other side of the border doing some black circuit comedy and shit. You know, I fuck with the Mexicans and shit. They were like, Stan, we're going to take you to Mexico. I was like, all right, let's go. So we went to Mexico, man. And I went over there with my Louis Vuitton backpack and I'm all looking fly and shit. And I was at the comedy show I performed and I met this girl, man. She was black and she was beautiful. I was like, damn, I didn't know they had black girls over here in Mexico. She was like, yeah, I'm from Belize. I'm like, oh shit, Belize, where that's at? That's like an island or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought Belize was like somewhere in Barbados, one of them little bitty islands somewhere and shit. So I was like, damn, you stay out here and shit. You might as well come on back to America with me. She was like, okay, okay. So she was like, I want you to, I'll come, 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 I want you to meet my father. So she took me to her father. She was like, Dad, I met somebody from America. Tell him what you told me. I said, I want to take your daughter back to America and marry her. He was like, shit, take the bitch with you. <laughs> Fuck me up. I was like, God damn, okay. So I stuffed the bitch in my Louis Vuitton backpack and we came across the border. So fuck the time. So I broke her in and told her that she was a black Mexican bitch and she was okay with that at first. You know what I'm talking about? Some fucked up shit. So I worked in LA and I worked in the jungles, in the hood. We were staying in the hood. And I was leaving in the house all day, you know what I'm saying? That's what, you know, that's what dudes do. They leave y'all in the house and we go work all day. And come to find out, she got to conversate with some of the ghetto girls in the neighborhood. And I came home late one day and as soon as I walked in the house, that bitch was like, boop, boop. Where the fuck you been, motherfucker? Oh, hell no, you out cheating with another bitch? I'm like, oh, who the fuck taught you English? <laughs> like, who taught you how to speak like that? Oh, hell to the fuck no. You know them ghetto ass bitches, they get to talking with their hands and shit. I was like, God damn, who the fuck taught you that shit? Fuck me up. So, fuck me up. So, she just put it in her mind that I cheated on her because I came home two hours late and she took all her bags and just left. And guess what the bitch did? She left my son with me. She was like, that's yours? You take care of him. I'm out of here. I'm going to the club. I'm like, man, that's some fucked up shit. My bitch ran off with me with the DVD man. <laughs> Real talk. I work seven days a week and I'm a comedian. I make extra money on the side. I sell cars, clothes, holes, and everything else. And, you know what I'm about? and this bitch left me for a dude that sells DVDs on the side of the liquor store. He sold her a dream that I couldn't sell it. They say it's green on the other side. But now that bitch home is downtown in L.A. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude locked up. That's what type of shit they do. They run off with the wrong ones. <laughs> I be talking shit. That's all I am. I'm a shit talker, man. That's all I do. I like to tell jokes, man. I, I like this one joke my grandfather told me when I was a kid. He was talking about this lady. Went to the doctor's office. She was like, I need to see a male doctor. And the receptionist was like, okay, I'm going to go to the back and get the doctor. She went to the back. She said, doctor, it's a lady up front that says she want to see a male doctor. And he was like, okay, send the lady back here. So the lady came to the back, and the lady was fine as hell. As soon as the doctor seen his dick got hard, instantly, So he told the lady, like, sit down on this time and take So he got the funnel with a titty. He was like, baby, how this feel? Oh, it feel good. It feel good. Okay, let me examine you a little more. He got the funnel around and down the little vagina area. Like, how this feel? She's like, oh, this feel good. Some kind of way he slipped around the front and put his dick in the guy. He's like, how this feel? She said, oh, this feel good. He said, you know what I'm doing? She said, yeah, you come and get some of this gallery I wanted you to check out. <laughs> Fuck me up. I was like, God damn, brother. He said, you got to be careful. Just can't stick your hand in anything. You might stick your hand in a pile of shit. Like, you know, some of these women is fucked up out here, man. You know what I'm talking about? I'm serious, man. I really is.
the light is on, man. It's about my time, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna um, steal too much. Cause y'all, 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 y'all wanna laugh? Can I tell y'all one more? Yeah. Y'all wanna hear one more? Yeah. All right, this is gonna be my last jump. I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. Then I gotta go all the way back to Barstow. I can't hang out with y'all because I don't drink. I'm a weed head. Y'all know weed head and alcoholics don't get along, right? Some real shit. Tell them motherfuckers all the time. You know, I don't want to talk all night. Y'all want to sit there and hug on each other. Brother, I love you! Shit, ain't that much love in the world. Some fucked up shit, man. I want to just say this before I go, man, because love is real, man. It is, man. Have you ever seen two old people that was in love? Like real love. Have you ever seen real love, ladies? Like, like people that been together for like 40, 50 years. Yeah. That's real love. I was standing in the grocery store the other day, and there was an old man and an old lady standing right before me. And I noticed that they was holding hands in public, and that was like, that was, you know, that was the real generous to my heart. I was like, oh, that's real love. But as I started to stare and notice real hard, the old lady had a wooden prosthetic in it. I was like, God damn. You know that's real love. You got a husband that a hold your prosthetic hand in public. After y'all done been together for 40, 50 years. You know what I'm talking about? And they was real intimate. They was kissing and trying to make out of the shit in public and shit and the and shit. And I'm like, that's some nasty ass shit. Like, y'all shouldn't be trying to do that shit in public, man. That's like some... Y'all just distorted my vision right now, like some crazy shit. So the old lady was trying to pay for the, her items with a check. Some real funny shit. Cause every time they slid the check in the machine, it'll slide back and decline, right? And so the, a damn a damn order was like seven eight dollars, and I'm standing there, man. I done left my kid out in the car running. I ain't got one item in my hand. I just wanted one pack of cigarettes. And these people standing there 15 minutes trying to pay for just seven dollars worth of shit. So a fuck around, man, and the lady pulled out a debit card and she swiped the debit card and that shit declined. And so I offered to be generous. I was like, God damn, lady, how about I just pay for that shit so I can go and get the fuck up out of here? And she turned around and looked at me. She's like, excuse me, son. We got this. I'm like, oh. So as they fuck around, they trying to pay for the goddamn items and shit, shit that's declining. This old bitch pulled out a big ass wad of money out of goddamn bosom, out of titties, you know, the bosom. The old lady put the money in the bosom, right? And she paid the man with a hundred dollar bill. I'm like, cheap skate ass motherfucker, why you just didn't pay this man so we can get the fuck up out of here? So when I said the shit, I guess I scared the lady because I said it kind of aggressive like some bullshit. You know how like, you be waiting for shit in line and you get kind of fed up. And I was like, God damn, lady, y'all need to hurry the fuck up. And I that lady feel it back I scared the shit out of her. She farted, right? She scared the shit out of so much she farted. And it was one of them little solid farts. I'm talking about one of them motherfuckers that slipped out like this. And it, it spread it like an atomic bomb. I was like, God damn. I was smelling that shit. I was like, God damn, somebody farted. She gonna look back at me and say, no, I didn't. I just whispered in my face. <laughs> Like, God damn, bitch, it smell like a full blown conversation. You lost your damn mind. All right, y'all, that's my time. Mr. Stagg, I'm out of here. Y'all make some noise for Mr. Stagg one more time. Come on, are you still with